So when I was 16, my dad ran a homeless mission in America. Was okay. a pastor. My grandpa was a World War II pilot. My uncle was a pilot. Uh, uh, flying is in my the family. family. Yeah. yeah. So originally, I was going to be a commercial pilot. During that, I felt God calling me to uh, mission aviation. Mission, yes, yes. And so we came over. That's where we saw the need for the medical remoteness, the access, yes. access to medicine. With all the water here, we thought a float plane would be yeah. the answer. As I sit here at Kondawana Village uh, with my friends here, it's just overwhelming just to realize how, how remote this is. You see the plane behind me and realize that you're a day or two away uh, from the nearest hospital. A day or two uh, by road, canoe, or a 20 minute flight with the uh, Sama Balus float plane. How they communicate with us is they, they hike 30 minutes, climb a tree, and, and call us on the cell phone. I'm Kirsten Palm, and one of the things that I get to do um, with Samaritan Aviation is visit patients in the house sick. Um, but I'm also sometimes the ambulance driver and the, the weather lady to um, let Mark know whether he can fly back or not. Thank you for your love. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I've been a congressman uh, for over 44 years. Papua New Guinea is a minute, small little island, but we have 6.9 million people. <laughs> we cannot adequately provide the health services to our people, but with swamps, lakes, and the river system. And the only way to health services is for organizations like yours. Good Samaritan. And I think, biblically, the name goes very well. Fits in very well. You are Samaritans to bring health services, to bring goodness, something good about health of people in my province. We offer hope and access. And uh, that's really what Samaritan Aviation is all about. It's about sharing God's love through action, showing kids like these that God loves them, God values them. Your uh, coming, is, uh, I would say, to me, it's a miracle. New Guinea's a long ways away, and you know what? God cares about these people. God loves them. So they deserve a chance when they get sick to get to the hospital. It's been exciting as we, we're celebrating 268 lives saved now this month and over. Uh, almost 100,000 pounds of medical supplies delivered here, and um, you know, we're just beginning. So some of these patients will be here, like uh, Betty behind me. Uh, she's been here uh, for a week, and she has surgery in a couple days, and will probably be here for another week. It gives us time to just get to know who, who Betty is, where she's from, and just really love on her. And also, it gives us a chance to pray with her, uh, to share about Christ, and, uh, and just also just to be, um, you know, the hands and feet of Jesus to Betty during a time of, of struggle for her. Uh, we came in January and uh, picked her up. She had a retained placenta and uh, flew her into WeWAC and uh, yeah, saved her life. So it's good to see her and her new baby, three months old baby. When you talk about May River, I know how long it takes to get there by canoe. It takes me five to six days before I get to May River. You, you save one life, it means you are saving the nation. And I think that's something uh, which is, uh, we, I am extremely excited about excellent service to the people of Papua New Guinea. I mean, we love these people, that's why we're here. It's always amazing to uh, go in such a remote area and come back in the same 
same few hours. That place that takes two days, two to three days to get up to, and uh, we can get there back in two and a half hours. So I've been doing this for a while, but it still blows my mind just uh, how effective this plane is and the ability to land on the water. This gives us access to so many places.